What's up guys, you were first place undefeated poops. What'd you play today? Uh, we played Wade Wapta. Wade Wapta. Yeah. Any shouts you want to give before we dive in? Yeah. Uh, shout out Team Solemn Circus, obviously. Uh, always giving us good content. Uh, shout out uh, Coastal Card Games. Uh, they're pretty legit. Shout out to the scene in Halifax uh, for inviting me down and letting me play. And uh, shout out my mom. Without her, I'd be nowhere. True, true, true. Before we dive in, over like, comment, subscribe, and well, let's show us them Wade Waptors. Yeah, so basically, uh, standard ratios for these. So, triple tribute, triple strangle, triple bloom, and triple fuzzy, and triple raider's wing. Um, you want all of these. If you open this and this, it is crazy because you do not commit to a normal summon and you get to get to uh, a raider's knight that is cannot be targeted. So, it just helps out so much. Um, Fuzzy's not always the good extender that you want just because it locks you into only Raid Raptors. So um, there is a combo where you can end on Evil Swarm Nightmare uh, with Raider's Wing underneath. But if you use its effect during that turn, you can't do that. Um, but yeah, I would still play these ratios even though Fuzzy does that. Uh, for just like random one-ofs as well. Uh, one Mimicry, one Noir, one Heal, one Pain. Um... Pain, I side it out most of the time, but it's really a nice extender to still have. Because if you extend off Raider's Wing, you just take no damage instead. Okay, um, okay. Heal Eagle lets you loop your uh, quick play spell, so it's needed. Noir gets you your Heal Eagle, and Mimicry gets you your Roost. So these are kind of like, they're not cards you want to open, but at the same time, they need to be played because it just helps the consistency so much. And then last monster I was playing was uh, Triple Samorg. Uh, basically... It's just a free extender, right? You summon, and once you summon, um, you're just free to, to keep going. Uh, most of the times, like, Tribute Lanius isn't a normal summon effect, so you just normal summon Tribute, uh, and then summon some more, activate Tribute, and then uh, if they decide to imperm because they're bozos or something like that, then you just keep going into your play. Uh, but that's basically my thoughts on it. Um, for hand traps, we're playing three Ash, three Valor, three Nib, three Droll, uh, <laughs> one Mourner, and three Emperor. Uh, before you guys goof me, <laughs> I only own one Mourner. Um, but truth be told, if I did own three, I probably would have cut down on the Drolls. Uh, Mourner feels really good right now. Um, it's just a great card to open. And uh, the times that I did open it, it felt really nice. I know uh, it's probably like reprinted in a bunch of sets, but I'm just, you know, not spending my time and energy on that um then other cards so engine requirements we have one roost one rank up one quick play rank up and the trap this shit is so fucking busted just the fact that it's a spot negate as long as you have an xyz on field this is also really good um people don't realize that when it comes back to your turn if you haven't killed them yet you can just remove it from play target an xyz banish another raid raptor and special summon it in one of my matches today they outed one of my towers and i went cool in my main phase banished one banished this and brought it back so he's still still dealing with three towers yeah um this just gets looped also it's negate activation if they want to negate the activation with bahun cool bro i can just loop it back and use it again okay um, okay and roost roost is your prank kids uh, i think it's pranks um it's just your it's basically your own um fountain um you put back three you draw one so you can just loop back mimicry heal knight so then afterwards um you can just otk really easily yeah it's nice to add back those cards yeah. too and, and having an omni eight trap is exactly awesome. it, it's so fun to just be like if they want to evenly cool you just negate the evenly and then it's like what do you do now you know that the towers is coming out so like and last two cards two talents um I like talents. Obviously, it's just something that should be played in most decks right now. Heavy hand trap format, baby. Yep. So for extra deck, we were playing the one Evil Swarm Nightmare. Card's fucking good, man. It's a threat on field. You make it with Raider's Wing underneath. Uh, it's not once per turn. You can book a moon two monsters, so you can't target it. And it it this surprises people more than the towers. So like, <laughs> it's really good. Then we're only playing the one Raider's Knight only because you can just recycle this with Roos. So like, why play multiple copies? Uh, most of the time when I was Roos, I would target this, heal, and Mimicry, so that if it comes back to my turn, uh, we can then go into, which is another card in my extra deck, Arc Rebellion. Card's um, busted. I love this card. It is. I haven't summoned it once today. Uh, I didn't need to. Uh, multiple games, I killed my opponents on their own turn, so... Um, 
three force tricks. I'm only playing the one common because that's the first one you use and you're not gonna use it again. No, but seriously, I think three force tricks is the way to go. You could probably uh, take one out, put something else in. Uh, I like having a few force tricks because sometimes if one gets negated or something like that, you still have the comfort of knowing that you can have two more. And remember guys, this is not hard once per turn so you can just fucking keep looping this shit until you find your out um other than that we have the one brave strix this card's dumb man like people don't realize that you can also set the quick play spell from deck or, or uh i think it's quick play or trap if i'm not mistaken and yeah so set one raid raptor spell trap from deck instead of searching so if you have a line where like you can't go into the trap but you can just search it because you already have the rank up in hand they can't even ash it so you just set the trap instead Pretty good. Um, and then, like I said, a while ago, Arc Rebellion for the OTK. I didn't summon it once because I didn't need to get to it, but there were lines that I saw that I could have came in handy. Um, I would still keep it in the deck. It's it's one of those better have it than not have it. Uh, and then the star of the deck, Arsenal Falcon. Um, this card's so fun. Um, so you just summon one of your extenders. Its effects are not negated. When he goes to grave, you summon out one of your towers and then activate its effect. They can't activate card or effects for the rest of the turn. And then um, I'll, I'll explain it more later, but this comes towers, back. Yeah. yeah. So obviously you're playing your tower package. Uh, you're playing Ultimate Falcon. People don't realize that this card basically just turns you off for the rest of the turn. So if you get to this point and you activate the effect, uh, your opponents can no longer do anything. So you're just free to just play Solitaire. Um, two Rising Rebellion. You need to play two. Um, Big boom. You summon the one, first one on your turn. And like I was saying about Arsenal Falcon, um, you activate its effect and target Arsenal Falcon. So now you get to get another monster to keep extending. Um, so yeah. And the fact that you can summon one of these on your turn and then one of these on your, their turn, it's a nuke. And people don't realize that as long as there's three XYZs as material, it burns you for its, their attack damage. I won multiple games today on my opponent's turn just by nuking their board. Um, other XYZ, I played Typhon. Typhon played a good part today. I think I summoned it like once or twice in situations that were kind of sticky for me. Um, like my round two, uh, it was my out to something that outed the towers. And once I outed it, they weren't able to summon it again. So it basically just won me the game right there. Um, but overall, Typhon's just good. And then the two Y Strix, you want to play two. There's certain situations where you want to link this and another card, let's say Mimicry, because you don't have another way to get into Grave, into a second one. Yes, the effects are once per turn, but you don't care about that because you can just loop this back as well with Roost if you want. So it's perfect. And last but not least, SP Big Knight. Um, I didn't summon this once today. There was no situation where I felt like I had to summon this. Every time that you have an established board, you should be winning anyways. Um, it's just... You know it's still another card where like if they hand trap you early or something like that you still have an interruption on their turn would you ever play like ip like, um with the SP you or, could like... you you could possibly pay ip but then you still run into the problem where fuzzy locks you now you have to remember that strangleaneous does lock you into dark monsters um fuzzy locks you into raid raptor monsters only and the thing is is it's not end of turn so like if you activate any other monster effect that's not a raid raptor monster that turn you cannot use fuzzy's effect okay okay so you try to limit that as possible by not using you know sp um typhon really this would come up more in the grind games but this deck doesn't really get to grind games because you either blow out tower yeah yeah um usually by coming back to their turn, you just go battle phase and you swing for game. So, uh, and then my side, uh, three cross out. Um, the deck can play through a lot of hand traps, but it's still fun to get around certain interactions. I was playing this in the main deck. I didn't like drawing it going second. Um, when I would lose dice roll, I think dice roll today, I only lost one or not even. Um, so, but to be fair, like, I think I sided it in. Uh, I only went to game three twice and lost it. And uh, twice that I sided it in, it didn't even come up. So, like, it could be an extra space for something else. Uh, three cosmic. If I played against, if I played against runic, if I played against snake eye, if I played against anything summon limit, I fucking hate summon limit. So, let's just get rid of it. Uh, three ghost bell. Good against, good against voiceless, good against fire, good against a lot of decks. I contemplated playing DD Crow but this just feels a lot better. Um, yeah. 
and then two lightning storm um just in case i'm going second they flip up a bunch of uh floodgates let's say or just you know helps with board states it's always good and this uh i would say won me basically a lot of matches it's a package, it's a package baby it's the delta gamma uh opening this against branded and they Crazy. go and they go yeah. like branded fusion or thrust or something like that and you chain delta uh their jaw just drops they're just like great googly moogly uh i've lost the game um but um yeah uh honestly I, yeah i love this package gamma back to three please konami um but there's not many changes i would do with the deck i like the deck how it is like i said though no uh, need for the uh phantom knight stuff eh no i think the phantom knight stuff the thing is is there's a lot of things that lock you in this deck um you don't want to lock yourself in because if you're putting phantom knight stuff in the deck then you can't summon fuzzy which fuzzy can be a really good extender sometimes um and I think it's just clunky. You would be drawing more bricks. It doesn't help that much. You would yeah. have to cut down on the Raid Raptor engine. And you also have to cut down on the non-engine, which the non-engine in this deck is super nice. Because like you saw, I'm playing 16 hand traps plus two talents. I'm playing 18 non-engine. There's only four engine requirements. And we're playing, uh, I think it's 24 um, or something like that. Like 22. I'm not sure exactly of the number. But like the number of times today that I, I opened two two names and two hand traps plus it could be a third name or a third hand trap was crazy um, yeah it looks pretty standard like I, I get that not playing these fan night stuff i don't think it's needed because the deck itself a lot of people don't understand that this deck's very explosive and if you know how to play through the certain interactions your opponent's just done like you know if they go in they imperm the wrong card you're just like okay dude like that doesn't bother me at all like i'm still ending on at least a tower on my turn and a tower on your turn so um but uh shout out uh best card in the deck for sure uh thank you konami for printing this um bloom vulture this this card's crazy if you're not playing three of this i don't know man go seek help <laughs> this card is so good um summon it from hand with another one and if you have no monsters on field and you're following up and this is engraved it's the same effect but engraved wow. so you literally get two names out if you have a raider's wing and now your xyz's non-targetable again because of raider's wing pretty nice pretty nice yep well, thank you for the deck profile and congratulations hey. once again hey thanks again